What's up, people? Welcome back to TaylorMade Kicks for another sneaker review. Shout out to all the sneaker heads, collectors, and all those who like fly kicks. Make sure you all like, share, and comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the live bell notification so you get every sneaker review coming to you. Today we have a two-for-one or a threesome, maybe? Today we're going to be doing a collab, social status, and Nike collab. The Air Max Penny 1 and the Air Max Penny 2. Check them out. Okay, people, let's get into the box. Shout out to Social Status. If y'all don't know, Social Status is a high-level urban brand that uh, collabs with Nike, Puma, etc. And it also owns, um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I, Ma Manier, and Social Bread are owned by the same person. So when you see those collabs, know that that is the same company. Um... Social Status did an incredible job with the boxes on these. You can see this one is like a chalkboard. Uh, and it says the Social Status on it. You'll see the Nike and Social Status logo is like in there. Let's get into the shoe tab, people. The shoe tab reads Air Max Penny SS for social status. The colorway is black, game royal, and sell. I got these in a size eight and a half. I believe they were 180 at the time, but you might be able to get them for 150 right about now on like Goat or something. Um, I definitely need another pair of these. Okay, let's get into the shoe, people. This is the Air Max Penny 1. This is Penny Hardaway's first signature sneaker. Um, first official signature sneaker, I should say. So these are based on the original Orlando colorway Penny 1s. You'll see the Penny logo in the back. And the white bottom with the Nike sign. The difference on the social status ones is social status does uh, what they call layers. So they add, you know, different twists to the shoe and different details. So on the Penny Ones, the social status, the bottom is actually like translucent blue with the blue Nike sign, which I kind of like better because, you know, that white's going to get dirty. And also the Nike sign on the side is interchangeable. You can take this off, and you'll see a blue one like on the original, and then they have a pack inside with all different color Nike swooshes that you can change out on the side. So the shoe is mostly New Buck suede, a black New Buck suede going around. You'll see this uh Super big air bubble in the back. Y'all know I love air back air bubbles for support. Uh, black rubber outsole and black rope shoe strings. It does. It has the Nike logo mixed with the Social Status logo on the back instead of the Penny logo. But you'll still see the Penny logo on the tag on the tongue. So. You'll see pull tabs on the back and on the tongue, a shoestring lock, um, you know, the Nike, the little Nike bubble still there at the front. So this is uh, one of my favorite sneakers, I would say. One of my favorite sneakers, I would say, the Air Max Penny 1. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the Air Max Penny 1. Let's check out the Penny 2 box. 
they actually made this like a like a toy uh, or like a doll uh, box after Little Penny. If y'all don't know, Little Penny was the man. Little Penny, what do they call these shoes anyway? Air Penny. Um, so it says Penny Two on the box. Nike in collaboration with Social Status, featuring Little Penny. So y'all will see the box and the sneakers will be inside like that. Says Penny Two on the side. On this side, it shows a, a silhouette of the sneaker. It says Power, Prosperity, and Prestige, featuring Little Penny. And there's a picture of Little Penny on that side. And it says Nike social status for all ages. So this is like a, a toy or like a doll box. This is one of the best uh, packaging I've seen on a sneaker box. Let's read the shoe tab, people. Okay, the shoe, t the shoe tab reads Air Penny 2 SS for social status. The colorway is black, cobalt, and pulse white and this is a size eight and a half i got these straight from the social status of uh, website actually the air max penny 2 is my favorite penny hardaway shoe so this is the air max penny 2 they gave you this beautiful copper model of the sneaker this is a great detail that social status added. Like when you were a little kid and you had the little uh, copper shoes. So they added that as a little trinket. Um, this model is a little different. A little bit more uh, bigger than the model one. But I like this one. Is, I like this one. The comfort and the design. This is my favorite Penny Hardaway shoe. So they changed out the colors. I'll show y'all what the original Penny One Royals look like. I still need another pair of those. If somebody finds those, hit me up. Hit your boy up. But this is the Penny 2 Social Status Collab. So the bottom is a little bit lighter blue than the original. The original was royal blue. This one is a lighter blue with dashes of pink going around the Zoom aerosol and the Nike sign. And on the back... You'll see that uh, splash of pink on that bottom guard next to that big air bubble. So these are super comfortable. Uh, most of the shoe is New Buck Black Suede. And instead of a Penny logo, you'll see the Nike and Social Status logo right there on the side. You'll get a Nike logo on the back instead of the Penny Hardaway logo. But you'll see the original Penny One Cent logo still on the tongue. So these also fit true to size. Um, these were, I'm going to say about 182. You could probably get these on GOAT for 160, 160 now, something like that. Uh, these also came with tons of shoe strings. So the great thing about social status is they give you an abundance of shoe strings with the sneaker. So you got a white pair, a cream pair, and that light blue pair. All the colors of the sneaker. On the Penny Ones, they gave you five different colors. So you can put red, white, orange, yellow, and that neon green so that is the social status collab for penny one and penny two i'll show y'all the on foot look what i got on they be like hey brandon what you got on don't worry about it don't worry about it sweetheart don't worry about it sweetheart this that's flat. Let y'all see how these look on foot. The Penny 1s. Then the Penny 2s. 
And let me know in the comments which y'all thinks which sneaker do y'all think is better, the Penny One or the Penny Two? If I had to rate these shoes, let's start with the Penny Ones. The Penny Ones. Let me see what size these are. Yeah, these are eight and a half. These fit true to size as well. The Penny Ones. I would rate these. This is a nine shoe for me. I would rate this a nine out of ten for me. I love this sneaker. The only bad thing is that the suede is going to look a little, a little dull and dirty after a while. It doesn't uh, pop as much. If these were uh, like an all leather, I probably would give this a 10 out of 10. But I'll give this a 9 out of 10. Let me know in the comments which y'all would rate this shoe. The Penny 2s, I rate these a 10 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10 shoe, people. I love this shoe. Let me know in the comments which you would rate this sneaker. Now, as for uh, wear, stash, or resell, right now these are just a stash for me until I grab another pair to wear. I also have the Orlando colorways and the playoffs, so I'm rocking my playoff colorways right now. Um, the Penny 2's, people, is these a wear, stash, or a resell? I have two pairs of these, double up season, so I have one to wear, one to stash. I'm definitely never selling any of my Penny Hardaway sneakers. It's my favorite sneaker, people. I'll never get it twisted. This is Telling Me Kicks. Make sure y'all tune in live every Wednesday for the live show. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel so y'all get the live notifications for a Teller Made Kick story time. And we are out of here, people. Until next time, deuces.